What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and as you guys could probably tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be answering the big question, is Triple H going to retire the Universal Championship? But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoyed the video, and you guys want, want to see more WWE topic videos in the future, which get posted on Thursdays, and sometimes on Wednesdays, <clears throat> and weekends, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, follow me on all of my social media, my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail, it will also be in the description as well. Guys, we are now officially, looking on my phone, 44 subscribers away from 200, 44, we are getting closer and closer to the goal of 200, and as I've said in, in previous videos, if this channel gets to 200 subs, you guys see it, a Korean Strike of Neos booster box, completely taped, as you guys can tell right about here, is completely taped on the hopes to potentially pull a, maybe, maybe a, uh, maybe, or maybe this guy who knows who knows but if the channel gets to a thousand subs I will open up this first edition tune chaos box in its entirety on the channel on the hopes to potentially pull a collector's rare I know it's not I, I know it's not like as popular as you know as it was or was when it was released but there are still some pretty cool old school cards in the box maybe maybe we'll pull them so with that being said, so with that being said, let's get straight into it. Now, there's been there's been a lot of reports going going around as of late that supposedly Triple H is, is going to be retiring the Universal Title and replacing it with the World Heavyweight Title. Meaning, meaning we'll be going back to the days of like 2007, 2008. You know those days when when, when we had. The WWE title and the and the World Heavyweight title instead of just having instead of the WWE title and the Universal title. The thing about this is that is that the World Heavyweight title actually had um, had quite a bit of of prestige because when you when you when you think about the World Heavyweight title, you think of guys like Batista, guys like Triple H. Excuse me, guys like Randy Orton, guys like Batista, you know, you know Batista, as I mentioned, John Cena, The Undertaker, uh, guys like Goldberg, uh, guys like uh, Bret Hart, you know, Holly, you know, even also, um, even also guys like uh, uh, Kevin Nash and and um, oh, what, what was his name, um, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. You know, from, you know, back in the days of WCW, Bret Hart I mentioned as well. Um, you know, you know, uh, DDP, Scott Steiner, you know, they all became, became, you know, WCW champion slash world heavyweight champion. <clears throat> and they just dominated, you know, they, they dominated as champion. And, uh, and... There's been there's there's been a there's been a, a lot of there's been a, a lot of speculation that that the world title could come back. It's very possible because when you think about again again as I mentioned as I mentioned before, you think of guys like Triple H, guys like John Cena. You know, a lot of these guys became world heavyweight champion and they dominated just dra you know you know drastically you know with an iron fist. With the universal title, it it does have some some prestige. But the thing is, is that the thing is, is that when the title was first introduced back in back in 2016 on Raw, it it wasn't highly touted. I guess you could say it, it, it wasn't highly touted, and it became. I guess I guess I I guess you could say it, it became more of a mid Carter's title. I guess I guess I guess you could say because guys like Kevin Owens, guys like Finn Balor. You know they they were all like mid carters, so you know so to speak, and 
it wasn't until Brock Lesnar became champion that that the title, you know, became more of the more more of the main eventers title. But as a but as opposed to um you know, as opposed to the WWE title, it's all it's always made its way to It's always made its way to the main event stage, if you will. But ever since Roman Reigns became Universal Champion the second time back in 2020, he's he's taken the the he's taken the Universal title and rose it up to main event status. And that 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 right there is crazy. It may be crazy. But the thing is, is that the title, that that that, that title has meant a lot. And when you look at also, <clears throat> you know, when you look at at the list of world of world heavy, of world heavyweight champions, um, Um, hang on, guys. All right, there we go. There we go. Anyway, when you look at the list of world heavyweight champions that held the title, um, there have been a grand total of of literally fifty six world heavyweight champions. Starting, you know, going, starting all the way back, you know, all the way back to 2002. And I'm not talking about, yes, I would be talking about the, the, the WCW title because it's basically, basically the, basically the same thing. But when, you, but when you look at the WWE World Heavyweight title, you know, that Eric Bischoff brought into WWE, <clears throat> You look at guys like Triple H who held who held the title. Let's see. I need to let's see. For a combined total of Give me a second. I think that's all. I, I think those are his only runs. As champion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are those were his only run, his only title runs. So, out of exactly, out of exactly five title runs he's held that 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 he had as world heavyweight champion, he's held the title a combined six hundred and eleven days. Which is amazing, which is incredible. You look at guy again, again guys like Triple H, guys like Shawn Michaels, Goldberg, guys like guys like Chris Benoit. You know who held the title for over for literally 153 days, which is amazing. You you look at Batista, who I believe is the who I believe is the longest, right? Isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually one of the longest reigning champions of all time with 281 days. I think the longest ever. Is that is that is that the longest ever? No way. Give me a second here, guys. Hang on. I think that's the longest. If I'm right on this, I believe Batista's run is the longest ever. Um Yeah. Yep, uh, yeah, I was right. His is, his, yeah, Batista, Batista's run, his, his first run is actually, is, is actually the longest ever. That's insane. Um, 
His second run ended up being ended up only lasting as lasting ninety days. So obviously there's a lot of rich history. Obviously guys like Edge, guys like guys like Dolph Ziggler, guys like Randy Orton, guys like Christian, you know Mark Henry, Big Show, Daniel Bryan, Sheamus, Alberto Del Rio, Dolph Ziggler I mentioned, John Cena, Chris Jericho, um, you know even also as well Undertaker, CM Punk. Um, You know, uh, the uh, uh, the great Kali, King Booker, Rey Mysterio, Kurt Angle, you know, Goldberg. All, all these guys held held the world heavyweight title. And, the, and these guys, and, and a lot of these guys all ended up becoming Hall of Famers. In fact, I think Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Goldberg, Batista, not uh, technically Batista, but still... Uh, Rey Mysterio, King Booker, hey, let's see, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Goldberg, Batista, Rey Mysterio, Kurt Angle, King Booker, Undertaker, Edge, Great Khali, um, Kane, Mark Henry are the only 12 that are Hall of Famers. Literally a dozen men. A dozen of these champions went on to become Hall of Famers. That's insane. <clears throat> that says that literally says that says a lot about about the World Heavyweight title. Whereas opposed to the Universal title, the only Hall of Famer that ever that ever held, held the title was Goldberg. In fact, truth be told, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, and Braun Strowman. Those are the only eight. Oh, and Roman Reigns. Wait, hang on. Hang on. I think I'm getting confused here. Excuse me. Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Seth, Ro Seth freaking Rollins, Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman. Yeah. Those are the, the, those are the only eight men who held the Universal title. And the crazy part is that is that apparently again again as I as I mentioned Triple H wants to bring back the World Heavyweight Title which honestly I'm all I am I am okay with I am okay with with Triple H bringing back the World the World Heavyweight Title in replacement with the Universal Title because honestly honestly don't get it twisted don't get it twisted the don't get it twisted. The Universal Title has done so much for WWE. You know, it you know it became such, it became a, a replacement for um, you know it became you know a um, you know it it became it became. A replacement for the fact that the WWE title was now you know you know was a you know was a part of of SmackDown during during the 2016 draft, which was which was awesome, you know. But Raw needed needed a title and a champion, so they brought in the Universal title. Obviously, at first, yeah, yeah. Obviously, a lot of people people didn't like it, cause, you know, because it was red. The blue, I'm digging. I'm I'm digging, I'm digging the blue, but I think, uh, I think it's time for the universal title, for the universal title to just retire, because uh, there's, there have only been eight champions, again, as I mentioned, Finn Balor, who held the title for, for like, for like, not even a day, you got Kevin Owens, who held the title for, literally, for, for, for 100, for 188 days, you have Goldberg who held the title for a combined thirty 
37. 37, 27. Let's see. For a combined 64 days. And then, and then you got Brock Lesnar. Who, across both of his runs. Who, who across all three of his title runs. Held the title. For a combined 686 days. And, 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 and his longest... Was his first run in 503 days, you know, you know, and then, and then, of course, you got, you, you know, you got Seth freaking Rollins, you know, as well, who held the title across both of his runs for a combined 178 days. Then, of course, you got Roman Reigns. Roman's run as champion. As of right now, it's still going up. It's still going up and up and up and up. So, so as of right now, across across both of his title runs, he has been Universal Champion for 1,011 days. Which right now, in which with with this second run, he's about he's about four about four to five months away from breaking Pedro Morales' record, which is possible. But who knows? All I know is that, in my opinion, um, the title, the the World Heavyweight Title, definitely needs 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 to come back. That's just how I see it. The title definitely need needs to come back. Don't don't get me wrong. The Universal Title has done so much <clears throat> for WWE since it get, you know debuted in WWE back in twenty in twenty sixteen. But the problem is that because because of the fact that. But because of the fact that that Roman Reigns hasn't, you know, you know, hasn't shown up to WWE as often as he's supposed to as champion, it it, it not only demoralizes what the title is supposed to mean, but it also, but it also basically just means that he's how the way I see it, he's taking the Universal Title as a demotion. I know it might not seem like 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 it is. But if you think about it, if you think if you guys really think about it, WrestleMania this past week, this past Sunday, he defeated Cody Rhodes. Yes, but he had to once again rely on not just the Usos, but Solo Sokoa. He relied on Solo Sokoa to pick up the victory. That's what it means. That's what what I'm talking about by saying that Roman Reigns sees the sees the title as a demotion. Because he's, it's, it's gotten, it's gotten to a point now where, <clears throat> where we could potentially see, see the, see the title lose its morale. And, and the way I see it, the sooner Triple H brings back the world, the world heavyweight title, the better. And I think, honestly, it'll, it, it would, it would be wise for WWE to bring back the to bring back the world title and just repl and just retire the universal title which is possible which is possible but only time will tell we don't really know we don't know if these if, if if these if these rumors are true but honestly I would love I would love to see it but I want your guys' opinion let me know down let me know down in the comments below answering the question of the day which is this should WWE keep the Keep the keep the universal title or replace it with the world heavyweight title. Let me know down in, in the comments below. And that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more WWE topic videos in the future, which get posted every Thursday and sometimes on Wednesdays and weekends, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, Follow me on all, all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash. Signing out.